I'm in the market to find a good leather jacket uh, for my scooter riding and I have kind of been looking for something over the last year actually and like I've gone to the stores and I'm just not finding what I need um, at least something that fits well and all that and so I've really struggled because I get online and I look at the different shipping policies of the motorcycle gear places um, and they do the charge for the shipping to return it um, which I get but I'd rather include it into the price and then they don't want you to order like five things to see how things fit and then return half of them or more. So it's really been a turn off and so I haven't really gone, you know, through the motions to actually pull the trigger to pull, you know, try one of these things on. So I was like, you know what? I've got Amazon Prime. I know how their shipping works. It's fantastic and I've done this for, you know, standard clothes. So why not try this for the motorcycle jacket options so that I can be safe on my scooter and preferably a little warmer than I was last year. I live on the Texas Gulf Coast, so it's not like, you know, we have a Minnesota winter or anything, but uh, 40 degrees on a scooter is pretty rough, uh, <laughs> especially when you add in our wonderful humidity. So anyway, I ordered five jackets from Amazon and I'm like, let's try it on together. Um, for reference, I am a 5'6 and I weigh uh, 170 pounds. No judging, please. Um, and that's part of the problem. So we're looking for something that is a fitted jacket. So things stay where it's supposed to stay and close to your body in case of an accident. And yet I don't want it to touch the parts of my body. It's not supposed to touch. So that's kind of what I'm looking for uh, here. I want something that looks good and it's gonna protect me. And uh, I don't feel like a safe puff marshmallow man, preferably. So I'm gonna start here just kind of as I open them. So they're not in any particular order. Uh, this is a Viking. A vintage brown motorcycle jacket and if I'm not mistaken this is actually the only one that I've got here that actually includes the CE approved armor so it's a leg up for that specifically um, I was kind of disappointed in my options on Amazon and if you've ever shopped on there it there's really just isn't a ton of options for females um, and then the motorcycle gear um, also so anyway so this one is a genuine leather cowhide from Viking um, it's got a ton of pockets and I love pockets. Um, so that's kind of great. It is very thick. <laughs> so it's a heavy jacket actually. It seems like it's really well made. Um, I did go with a 2XL based on their sizing chart. It was for uh, 5'8 to 5'10 and then um, 145 to 165 pounds. So 5'6 and 170, but it does zip um, without any issues. I still feel kind of safe puff marshmallow -y, but that's kind of the nature here. I do feel it's got some pretty decent filling armor um, in the back as well, so that's kind of, that's solid. Um, kind of back up a little bit here and stand on tippy toes so you can kind of see um, if you've got the pooch, um, it's falling right there uh, below, so it's, you know, more of a flattering fall for me. I do like that. The sleeves are a little bit long, but I expected it since it can accommodate up to somebody that's 5'10", so that's kind of cool um, if you're 5'10". Um, and I am not, but they got pockets all over this thing. So there's something in the arm here. Um, of course, the chest uh, area has some. And then there's adjustments on the sleeves. And then I really kind of like the reflective striping. Um, you can even kind of tell a little reflective action here in the bedroom. So uh, I like that. I like to be seen, especially when I'm out riding at night. So anyway, got some pretty nice pockets on the inside too. I'm telling you, I love my pockets. And it's hot. <laughs> it will definitely do some damage uh, to the cold wind, at least, uh, from riding. And then I noticed, I've forgotten about this feature, actually. Um, it's one of my favorite things when uh, any gear can be like used in multi ways, is that it does have an interior lining. We kind of get closer. So you just simply zip it out. Um, I, there's also like some extra locks and stuff. Um, not locks, extra pockets. A knife and pin holder. Interesting. Um, and so anyway, you zip this out and then it'll take down some of that heat <laughs> that uh, it's protecting you. It seems like it's a good wind liner here. Uh, it's not too thick, um, but I'm telling you, it's pretty stuffy uh, in the bedroom in the summer. So there's that. But anyway, on the inside, if you don't have the liner, you see the little perforated so you can see through the brown little specks that you're seeing. That's the inside of that cowhide. So um, that's pretty nifty. Oh, yep. And at the bottom of the jacket, there's also some, some additional. So if you do need to tighten it along the bottom of the jacket to fit your body, it definitely has that feature. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, it actually fit me fine. So I'm not, I would not adjust it if I were to keep it. Um, I don't love the way I look in it necessarily, but I do love the zippers, the pockets everywhere, the reflective striping and the CE approved gear. So 
Um, not sure where I'm gonna land yet, but I, I like those features, even if I don't the love The next the jacket way. that I've got is the Made by Johnny leather motorcycle cycle jacket with a hoodie. Um, I am seeing an internal liner on this one, so love the dual functions. Um, but it doesn't seem like it comes all the way out, so hold on, I gotta look into this. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It just takes out, it's not a second separate liner. So it anyway, when you're looking at this jacket in particular, there's like this inner thing. And so basically you can take out this, the hoodie component of it. And so it's just a jacket. Um, it's not like there's an inner liner for the entire thing. So whatever. Um, it's just, the reviews on it are really good. Um, there is not any CE gear. And now that I'm looking at it, it actually says that it is faux leather. So if you're vegan or something, that's for you. Um, it's a pretty slick looking jacket. Um, I wouldn't, doesn't feel motorcycle e um, necessarily, um, but there are some photos in the reviews of it. The zipper is a little rough, um, and it does have the cool zippers everywhere, but they're rough all over. So it feels like the quality on this one kind of stinks. Um, this one I think I got for like sixty dollars. It looks better, like it's fitted in a nice way without feeling like super like skin tight or anything. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's going to work for a motorcycle jacket. And these are just little paper strips on the um, zippers. I'm not going to take them off since this is clearly not going to be a winner for me. Um, yeah, no reflective, no adjustments, no liner, no CE gear, faux leather. It doesn't feel all that safe. So that one is definitely a no-go made by Johnny. This next jacket is another Viking cycle jacket. Uh, again, in the 2XL following their sizing recommendations. Um, so the first jacket that was the vintage brown with the striping from Viking, um, that one's in like the $150 price point. And so this one being $80, you know, kind of, kind of cutting it close to that half point. So, um, if you're looking to spend under a hundred, this uh, Viking, the, the two jackets here, they just seem like they're really good quality. Um, they seem to be durable. This jacket in particular has like this nice little braiding thing. Um, a little skeptical because if you see like this is the side. And so it's got like a little stretch here, which makes me think that it's gonna be more fitted. Um, there aren't as many pockets as the first one and uh, the liner, there's no liner that snaps out of this. So um, it is what it is, right? Can't adjust it if you get too hot, too cold, what have you. So anyway, it looks like it's a sharp jacket. So let's try this on. It does not have the CE approved gear, um, but it is 100% genuine cal hide. So you will have that road rash protection. Um, it's got the, Asymmetrical zipper. I'm seeing that on a lot of the female jackets. Um, care less either way where the zipper's at. Um, it looks like it goes to about here because there's this this one. This sleeve is right here. So anyway, um, it is definitely more form fitting. I will say that. Um, and I was kind of expecting it with the way the sides of this are with the little stretchy panels. Um, there are not like any adjusters like on that first one, so I can't. It's it's fitting where, falling where it's supposed to fall, but it's not like a just, it's a little snug. So um, it's okay. It's just fitting and touching and doing things I'm not really crazy about. And the sleeves are long, um, but it, again, it's just kind of the nature of my weight versus the height that they're offering this jacket to. So I do like the jacket. It's just not going to be for me. So we will take this one off. All right. So we're at the bottom of the sack of jackets here. That sounds kind of fun, like dress up, but way, uh, way cooler than princess dress up here. Um, this one is the True Element brand, also from um, Amazon. I did get an extra large, but I think it was just because of availability at the time. And this is by far the heaviest of the jackets. And it was clearly in the boxes how they came in. I was like, whoa, is this multiple items? And it was not. It was just this jacket. Um, I do like the way the sleeves are fitting um, in comparison to the Viking. I will say that. And let's see how we do in the large. They didn't have as much of a size chart on Amazon. I did forgot to check their website and like just in case um, the brand website, but it's okay. I'm a little weird by the crooked zippers and they only want you to go so far really. And they do snap off, but it, I don't want to do that at this point. Um, it's more comfortable than the other ones. It does not have the CE gear, but it is made from the 100% leather. It does have the zippers here on the side. Um, and no, yep, there's some zippers here at the back as well, so you can kind of do some there. Not the adjustable tabs, though. Um, it said something about braiding and ruching and stuff, and I do see some braiding here, but it's actually, like, not as um, fitted as the Viking one there, so that's actually kind of neat. Um, anything else interesting? Nope. Happy riding.
I'm all about that. So again, no CE armor, um, but it does feel like it's pretty quality made anyway. The zippers are really smooth. Um, and then we have pockets, me and my pockets. Ah, here we go. Let me show this to you on the back. So on the back of this jacket, there, that's what they were talking about. So there is some stretch to it, but I honestly don't feel it. So that's actually kind of neat. Um, on the inside, we do have those zippers on the, you know, for more pockets. Um, I think there's two on the outside and just one on the inside. And then this is also another one with a removable liner. Always a fan favorite. Um, so anyway, it's not very, it's, I think it might, it's probably, it's comparable to the Viking one. It's maybe a tad bit, something more inside of the, in between the th seams. Um, and then on the inside of this one, it's black, so it's a little tougher to tell. Um, but it is like, like this perforated liner here and then to the inside of it. And here's some of this like adjustment um, zippers that were along the back and bottom. So anyway, like you can take out this liner, it simply zips out, zips in. Um, let me play around with that because I actually think this jacket kind of might be a winner. I do wish I had the CE protection though, but I just want to see how the jacket, if it's smooth for the liner takeout. So yep. Um, oh yeah, it's smooth. So I have other jackets that have this feature and it's just really slick. So I just throw the liner on the inside of my underseat storage box and uh, I'm in business in case it gets cold on me. I had one of those moments the other day because we're not used to cold and then it just suddenly super chilly. So I had to pull it out. So anyway, I do like this jacket. It is, this one was $160. Uh, the Viking, I think, uh, yep, I paid $150 for that one, the brown Viking that I liked. And this one's $160. Um, I want to know what jacket's the winner. Recognize it? It's actually the first jacket, the uh, Viking antique, uh, no, sorry, vintage brown jacket. Um, anyway, it's the same price as pretty much the True Element jacket that was also great quality and warm and all that. Um, but this just had the CE approved armor uh, and the reflective striping. So it really does take it like a little extra notch beyond for the safety thing. Um, I also mainly ride a summer jacket and throw in a liner um, whenever it gets cold and layer underneath it. Um, and so that wasn't quite enough last year, but this jacket is significantly heavier than that one. So it's just going to be a really good jacket for bridging that gap. So I can stay a little toasty when I'm riding my scooter. So anyway, if you're new to scooters, trying to figure out what to wear and uh, trying to play around in this space, I know it's a lot to cover and you just want to be safe. Um, so if you're curious in that space, check out my website. I've got scootersfornewbies.com where I've got like a full guide on uh, summer and winter riding. And so um, I am going to cover the jacket finds in this uh, from this video. I also have things like gloves and pants and all of that. So there's definitely more to it and more options. So. If you do want to just stick with things like adding layers for the stuff that you already have, totally fine. And I've got some resources for that for you. So again, scooterfornewbies.com.